You think you're alone in your bedroom? You're wrong. When your phone lights up silently in the middle of the night, it's not just getting a notification. It's watching. It's listening. And it's not the only one. Those smart devices you welcomed into your home, the Amazon Echo, the Apple Watch, the Nest thermostat, they aren't just gadgets. They're behavioral psychologists constantly studying you. Your watch tracks your heart rate spike during a heated argument. Your smart speaker analyzes the subtle tremor in your voice to detect if you're feeling down or depressed. Your thermostat knows the exact moment you leave the house and when you'll be back. Each device is a silent observer, collecting tiny fragments of your life. But what happens when they put those fragments together? They take millions of these data points, your sleep patterns, your travel routes, your social interactions, even your emotional state, and they build a digital version of you. It's a profile so detailed, so intimate, that it can predict your actions before you even decide to take them. Think about that. An algorithm that knows you better than you know yourself. We were promised a future of convenience. A world where our homes anticipate our needs and our devices make life seamless. And in many ways, we got it. But we traded our privacy for that convenience. We opened our doors, our lives, and our minds to these silent observers. The question is, was the price too high? Have we given away too much of ourselves? This isn't some far-off sci-fi dystopia. This is the reality we are living in right now. The technology is already here, and it's evolving faster than we can keep up. Corporations are building vast empires on our personal data, creating profiles that influence everything from the ads you see to the opportunities you get. But who holds them accountable? What are the rules? And most importantly, what can we do to reclaim our digital autonomy? This isn't about being anti-technology. It's about being pro-humanity. It's about understanding the tools we use and demanding transparency and control over our own information. In this video, we're going to pull back the curtain on the surveillance economy. We'll explore exactly what your devices know about you, how that information is being used, and what steps you can take today to protect your privacy without having to go completely off the grid. It has time to understand the trade we've made and decide if it s one we re still willing to accept. Welcome to Human Error. Thanks for watching, and if you found this insightful, don't forget to subscribe.